Hello, YouTube. Tell them what we're going to do today, Aiden. We found some, our goal this year, and y'all have heard me talk about this before, was to find some elderberry trees on our property, and we did find um, one this morning. So we're going to go look at that, and we're going to also flag it. And we're going to drive around in the woods and see if we can't find some more, and that's what we're off to do. identified so we're gonna mark them just so that we know um, just so that we know which tree is which and I'm gonna do that with this pink string right here so we're gonna load this up with us as we head off into the woods all right, we made it here, and you can see that we are up towards the front of our property on the frontage roads that meet. Um, but this is our first tree that we spotted, and it is got the telltale characteristic signs of an elderberry, the big white flower heads. You can see that some of them are already starting to turn into tiny little berries. The leaves. And the little jagged edges on the leaf, you can see. So, it's a nice sized tree. I'm super excited that we found this tree. Um, I see some more down there. I'm not quite sure how hard those are going to be to get to because they are like, and it looks huge. Um, but I'm not quite sure how hard it's going to be to get to with the water over there. It seems like they're growing close to water. I'm sure that there's probably a million snakes over there. But they are definitely, you can see on those telltale, big, huge bush, white bushes, flowers, whatever you want to call them, over there on the trees. That's your telltale signs. So, as you can see, they are everywhere over there from over on this side of that big huge tree to over there. Um, but our access here might not be very easy um, because it looks so snaky and deep down there. So, we're going to go off uh, on another side of our property and continue to look. But we just happened to see this one right here that was pretty easy to get to. So I'm going to mark this one here. And we're going to um, keep going and keep looking and see what we can find. I also sent, um, I have a, a good relationship with our extension service lady. So I have also sent her, I sent her a picture just for verification. And um, she did confirm that that is an elderberry tree. And you can find it by... Um, like I said, those big white flowers, those big white flowers turn into these little bitty berries. And the leaves have a very distinctive look. And you can tell that this tree is just beautiful and healthy. Alright, so we're going to jump back on the Polaris and take off and see what else we can find.
vehicles soon, but we're going to ride the wood line first and try to cover that. Uh, making our way down around towards the pond to see if we can find anything. It seems to me that I've had more luck. I found another set across the, the road that's actually not on our property, but it sits um, really close to water. So it seems to me uh, all the ones that I found around here are, are near water. So we're going to make our way over towards the pond, just riding the wood line and seeing um, if we can find any down in this area. All right, guys, good news. Not too far down, we um, come across some more elderberry. They're right there. Um, they're not as big, but there are several of them. They're pretty tall. Um, and I can see that several of them are already losing. Um, this one has pretty good white on it still, but these over here are, have pretty much turned, went ahead and turned on into the, the green that turns into berries um, so that's pretty exciting to know that these are, are back here on this line on this fence um, unfortunately they're on the opposite side of the fence so I can't it looks like there's a few that's on our side so I'm gonna mark the ones that are on our side the other ones seem to be over that gate so I'm gonna mark the trees that are on our property um, so we know we'll know that those are elderberries and I also plan to take cuttings from some of these and try to get them closer to our property so we're not having to ride in the woods to find these next year they will be um, on our property for easy access so I'm gonna go ahead and mark these that are on our side so we'll know where they're at Okay, so we hit the jackpot and a little bit further down uh, by one of the deer plots that we have down here uh, we found another elderberry and I can see that several of these are starting to turn green but we do still have some classic white ones so I'm gonna jump off and mark this tree too just so we'll know where it's at four choice of shoes in the woods I should not have worn flip-flops So this one is right on the back side of our property like almost out our back door we have a small wood line and I spotted this one it looks like it's not as mature it's definitely not gonna put off a lot but it is growing and I'm not sure if you can see it but right up there at the top is a little tiny um let me get this thing in part so I can pull it down and show you. Even pulling this, I can remember telling y'all that my elderberries are so delicate. I just pulled this and this broke. So this 
this looks like a new one and you can see I spotted that off in the woods. Cute. And, um, so this one looks to be very new. Um, but apparently we do have them in abundance here so super excited. I'm going to mark this one and um, we're going to call it a day. So we've had extremely good luck finding the elderberry bushes all throughout our property. So we're very excited about that. Happy homesteading, y'all.